everybody. Today we're going to be studying osmosis using an egg. A few days ago I started the preparation for this experiment and I took a normal household egg and placed it in a glass with some vinegar. The vinegar dissolved the eggshell leaving only the inner membrane behind. The membrane is semi-permeable meaning that water can go through the membrane but all the contents of the egg, all the proteins and things that are in there, are stuck inside, so they can't spill out. Once the shell was dissolved, I put the, I rinsed off the egg and put it in the glass that you see here, which is full of corn syrup, which is a high glucose solution, hypertonic. Now we're ready to start. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tear our measuring cup. Um, in the lab, we usually use a Petri dish. I don't have those at home, so I'm just using a normal dish. And we're going to put it on the scale and we're going to tear it out, which means that the scale will not record the weight of um, this utensil. We only want it to record the weight of the egg. Now I'm going to take this egg out, and as you can see, it's kind of like mushy looking. So the shell is gone. Oh, the dog, the dog is scratching at the door. He'll have to wait. I'm going to rinse it off while my daughter lets the dog in. We'll be right back. Okay, so the egg has been rinsed off and you can see that um, it's really kind of floppy looking. So when I put it in the jar, it's 49 grams. That's how much the egg weighs. This will be your initial mass. Then, by the way, it's really sticky when it's got the corn syrup on it. We're gonna put it in another glass and we're gonna add distilled water. Now, distilled water has been treated so that it doesn't have all the impurities that you would normally have in tap water. So it's really, um, the amount of solute in this water is practically zero. So I'm just gonna cover up the egg with the distilled water. And we're gonna let it sit in there for a little while. 30 minutes. I'm gonna put the timer on. This is my ancient, ancient oven timer. We'll see you in 30 minutes. Welcome back. It's been 30 minutes. The egg has been sitting in distilled water and now we're ready to take a look at it, observe what it looks like, and take its mass. So first thing we want to do is take the egg out. You can see right away that it's quite different looking. It's um, kind of swollen looking and not as saggy as it was before. So I'm going to make sure that I tear the scale so it's at zero and get all the water off of here. And then let's take the mass, 59 grams. All right, so that is our final uh, mass of the egg. Now we're going to put the egg back into the corn syrup and see what happens after 30 minutes back in the corn syrup, see which way water moves at that point. So back it goes into the corn syrup, which is very thick and sticky. You can actually see the egg floats in the corn syrup. And we're gonna turn on the timer again for 30 minutes and we'll see you back. Okay, here's our egg, it's rinsed off and you can observe what the egg looks like. You can see that it's not quite as swollen as it was before, it's much more sort of saggy looking. And we're going to tear the scale and weigh our egg, so the mass of our egg is now 55 grams. So that's the final mass. And we're done with our experiment. So now all you have to do is fill out your lab manual and answer the questions in the uh, transport lab quiz. Thanks for being with us in this really super fun experiment. See you in class.